So one of the most annoying aspects of lawn care, for me at least, is raking. I think it's so annoying. I really dislike it. And by the look of this thing, I mean, you can see I've used it a lot. This thing is kind of falling apart. And as I said, out of all things related to lawn care, raking is the thing I dislike the most. It's time consuming, it's boring, it's hard work, and I always end up chafing my hands around here and here every single time, so it hurts. <laughs> But yesterday I went out and bought something that I'm hoping will eliminate the raking aspect of a lot of things I do with my lawn. I mean, it won't eliminate the need for a rake entirely. I will still need to use this thing from time to time, but hopefully it will eliminate the need for this for most of the things I need it for. So sit tight and let's see what I bought yesterday. All right, so I bought a Gardena leaf and grass collector. So supposedly this things should replace a rake when it comes to collecting leaves, pine needles, grass clippings, you can even use it after scarifying. So it should replace my rake for all those things, hopefully. I've never tested it. I've seen a couple of reviews of it and I've been interested to kind of try it out. And normally I would stick to things necessary to lawn care. I wouldn't buy stuff like this. I would say this is kind of a luxury item you don't really need this a rake would do just fine but it's just that i really don't like raking i think it's the most boring aspect of lawn care especially after scarifying if you scarified before you know that your lawn will be full of debris afterwards and raking that up takes a long time i mean it's just so boring and i really hurt my hands as i said i end up chafing my hands here and here and I just don't want to do that anymore and I think most people use a leaf blower to get rid of leaves and stuff like that and I don't own a leaf blower um, I mean when it's wet outside I'm not sure the leaf blower will work that good I mean the leaves will be harder to move or blow away and I will probably end up at some point blowing all the mulch from my mulch bed onto the lawn so I don't know I don't think the blower is, a, is the way to go for me I think the best way would be actually to mulch it with a lawnmower, but I don't own a lawnmower or not a mulching lawnmower. The only thing I have is my push reel mower and my robo mower. So the robo mower I pretty much don't use anymore, only when I'm on vacation and don't have time to mow it myself. And the cylinder mower, it doesn't take away any leaves or anything like that. It doesn't mulch anything. And as I said, I don't own a rotary mower with a mulching capability. So, I mean, I have to figure out a different way. All right, so let's open this thing up. Instructions. <laughs> I'm a man, I'm a DIYer. I don't need instructions. Don't want it, don't need it. Just give me five minutes with this thing and I'll have it up and running. No problem. Is this the handle? Is it? Is it the handle? Not a word. So for those of you who've seen my first YouTube video on the channel, I've told this story. It's about when I bought a desk, a computer desk for from Ikea. And I brought that thing home. It was kind of late. And my wife said, well, let's build it tomorrow instead. But I mean, <laughs> first thing I did was open it, throw away the instructions. I uh, didn't check anything. I just wanted to get that thing built. So I started building it. I think I was done about one in the morning or something like that. Super proud that I proved my wife wrong. She said we should build it together. It would be safer because she knows how I usually do stuff. <laughs> so I built that thing, super proud. It's one in the morning, I'm done. And the final step was to kind of lift that thing up and put it in the office where it should be. And then I realized it was too big to fit through the door. <laughs> I didn't check the measurements or anything like that, which was in the instructions, by the way. <laughs> it said exactly how wide it was. You would think I learned my lesson from that. But just that summer, we went and bought shelves for the shed. 
and of course I built them outside right here and then when I went to put them in the shed same thing happening it happened again I couldn't fit them through the door <laughs> so I had to kind of disassemble everything again take it back down and build it back up inside the shed instead and again it said in the, in, in the instructions exactly how wide they were but I mean who reads those I'm here to build stuff I'm not here to read but hopefully this thing will be easy enough to put together and it will actually fit through the door <laughs> this time so before we move on and talk about this thing please make sure you give a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't it really keeps me motivated doing content like this i think it's super fun and the more people actually want to watch and give a thumbs up it just keeps me motivated to do more because I, I really enjoy doing this i think it's super fun interacting with you guys watching so hopefully if you like and find some value in this video please make sure you give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any future videos all right so this thing is about 46 centimeters wide so about 18 inches so it's a pretty good width and it's really lightweight it doesn't weigh a lot it's about eight kilograms so about 17 pounds and i actually bought this thing for about 1200 swedish kroner i don't know why i say that in english kroner i bought this thing for 1200 kroner in swedish <laughs> So that's about 120 euros or 140 dollars, just about. So I mean, sure, it's not as cheap as a just normal rake, but it's not super expensive either. But I mean, for me, if there's anything that could take away raking as an aspect in lawn care, I would pay twice as much for it. I really dislike raking. So essentially, it's pretty much a push reel mower instead of the cylinder blades. It has rakes. And hopefully it can replace this thing entirely i really hope that and the bag holds about 90 liters so that's a bit more than three cubic feet so it's a pretty decent sized bag and you can also adjust the height if you need to with this thing i mean depending on if you have a bumpy lawn some areas might be lower than other ones so you can easily just use this thing to adjust the height and i think this thing was released last year and I mean, due to global supply chains being what they are right now, it can be quite difficult to get a hold of these, especially in the US. I, I haven't found that many places that actually sell these. Um, if I do, I put a link in the description below. For those of you in Europe, I do have links for you if you want to check this thing out. But I mean, uh, uh, even across Sweden, it's pretty much sold out everywhere. There's only a few places left that actually has these in stock since, I mean, it's fall and it's kind of popular to use one of these instead of just go around raking. All right, it's time to use this thing, see how it works. But just before we use it, let me just give you a quick look how the lawn looks. I mean, I have a lot of trees here, as you can see. I mean, all the leaves haven't come down yet, but they're going to. I still have a lot. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but I still have some leaves on the lawn. But I mean, normally this big tree that is right on my property line, I mean, that thing usually gives me a ton of pine needles that just end up blowing up on the lawn. So hopefully this thing actually removes pine needles as well. But I mean, as you can see, I don't have that much leaves on the lawn. I have a lot of pine needles. And as you can see here, I actually just mowed the lawn. So I'm interested to see how well it does with grass clippings as well, especially since it's really wet outside. So I'm really, really, really hoping this will clean this up because otherwise I have to rake it and I really don't want to do that. And this is my front lawn. And as you can see, this apple tree, it still has a lot of leaves and it's being prepped for Halloween, but a lot of it is ending up on the lawn. So hopefully we can clean this up because you don't want to leave this on the lawn. I mean, if you have leaves here, it will cut off the sunlight. So it will kill off the grass underneath. So you want to make sure you rake this up. I mean, either mulch it, use a leaf blower, or you can even rake it. So that's the state of my lawn for now. I mean, it looks good, but it could look a lot of better. I mean, I hate having all these leaves. It just gives it a messy look. I don't like it. And as I said, if, if you let all the leaves kind of pile up, they will block out sunlight and it will kill off the grass underneath. All right, so let's use this thing and see how it works. Hopefully it will take away everything. All 
right, let me show you up close how this thing works. I mean, it might be a bit bumpy, right? But let's go. All right, it's shooting a lot of stuff in front of it. I mean, it is picking up pine needles, grass clippings, leaves. The only thing that kind of surprised me is that it's kind of shooting things out the front. I've heard that it would do that, but not as much as it is actually doing. Let's get the lawn done and see how it looks afterwards. So as you can see, it pushed out some of the leaves and grass clippings out on the pavement here, or concrete, whatever you want to call it. So I'm actually going to lower this thing and see if I can run it over here as well. All right, so let's see how we did. I mean, as you can see, it's actually picking up a lot of stuff. There's pine needles here, there's leaves. It actually also removed smaller worm casts. I mean, I don't have that much leaves, but I have, do have a lot of pine needles. And I have to say, it's harder to move it than you might actually need to do two passes, but it still collects a lot. Looking at the lawn, it looks awesome. I mean, it, I wouldn't say it does remove 100%, it doesn't. But I would say about 90-95% of the stuff it removed. Some areas with taller grass or a lot of pine needles, especially since wet, I had to do two passes. But I mean, still, it looks awesome. It removed a lot. Now let's have a look at the front. As you can see, not that many leaves. And as I said, I mean, there's smaller leaves here and there. So about 90-95% it takes away. But I'm good with that. Anything to not do manual raking. And I mean, no chafing on the hands, no raking. I am so glad I bought this thing. And to be honest, I thought it would be easier to push that thing and just removing everything. I had to do a lot of adjustments here and there, but that's because my lawn isn't level. Overall, doing that instead of raking, I'll take it any day. Is it better than a leaf blower or mulching? I really couldn't tell because I don't own a leaf blower. I don't own a lawnmower that can mulch. So I can't really tell. But is it better than this thing? Yes, yes, a hundred times yes. <laughs> I would much rather use that thing than manual raking all day long. And I mean, manually raking isn't all about me thinking it's just boring. It's time consuming as well. I mean, with work, coaching my son's football team, my hobby with lawn care, it takes a lot of time. And coming home and seeing all these leaves or scarifying and having to spend an hour just raking up everything. If this thing can cut that time in half, I mean, it's so worth it because I don't have all the time in the world to spend on lawn care. I do have a normal life, believe it or not. <laughs> I wish I could do this full time, I can't. So if this thing costs $120 or 1,200 kroner, it's definitely worth it for me. But unfortunately, it doesn't replace this altogether. I still would need to use this around maybe edges. But as I said, 90, 95% of everything it does take. So if I'm left with five, 10% with this thing, I'm more than happy. And it will be interesting to see next season how well this does after scarifying, because then you really have a lot of material it has to remove. But that's for next season. I mean, let's just have a look at the lawn before we move on. It's looking awesome, especially now when it's clean. I mean, you saw what I picked up. It wasn't much, but as soon as leaves and pine needles starts piling up, it doesn't have to be much. It just doesn't look as clean and nice. Now when it's all cleaned up with the Gardena leaf collector, I mean, <laughs> It's stupid, I know, but it does put a smile on my face. I love it. I don't care if it's stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's almost November. It's getting in the low 40s, mid 30s. But to have a lawn like this with this color and looking so awesome and clean now, it's awesome. I love it. Look at it. 
and especially since I fertilized this area and the fertilizer had some iron in it, the color is awesome. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and found some value in it. And if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any future videos. And as I said, it does really help me out a lot growing my channel and let me do stuff like this because I really enjoy doing it and I really enjoy sharing it with you guys and interacting in the comments section with you guys. So please make sure if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I hope I see you in the next video. And look at this, can you believe it? It fits through the door. Who needs instructions, right?